So with the five pillars of emotional intelligence, the second thing is having an accurate self-assessment. It's also knowing your strengths and your limitations. I was once asked to fly to Vietnam and speak to a group of 5,000 people. And the mm. event organiser said, Daniel, what's the most amount of people you've ever spoken to? And I said it was 500 on stage. And he said, well, if you can do 500, you can do 5,000. Julie, mm. I knew my limit. I had spoken to 500 Aussies but I'd never spoken to 5,000 Vietnamese. And I thought to myself, do I know the culture? No. Do I know the environment? No. Do I know my content? Yes. So what I said to the event organiser, I said, it's out of my comfort zone. He said, Daniel, you can do 500, you can do 5,000. I said, my biggest fear is that I ruin my reputation. If I get there and I make a big mistake, I'll never be invited back. So what I did, I said, no. He said, we'll pay you $20,000. I said, no, thank you. My reputation's worth more. So they found another speaker. He knew the content. He'd never spoken to 5,000 people, and he'd never spoken in Vietnam. And he got up on stage. He got crucified. He got nailed to the cross, and he's never been seen again on the speaking circuit. What did he do wrong? He didn't have an accurate self-assessment. He went too big, too soon, and it backfired. So mm. when we speak and when we have emotional intelligence, we're going to have an accurate self-assessment. 